I really like to focus on building technologies and tutorials and guides for people who are not currently being reached or represented that well in the electronics industry. So maybe younger women, people of color, people who don't have a lot of experience with mathematics, maybe they don't have a plan to go to college, but they still want to build projects and learn about technology. That's who I'm aiming for. We have almost 2,500 different products in the store and 250 of those, about 10%, are uniquely designed here at Adafruit and that's kind of what I do. I'm the lead engineer and I have a couple of people who work with me to get those designs out and tested and, and all the tweaking that's required to make it a really good quality product. But we have a wide range of microcontrollers such as Flora and Gemma and the Metro and all sorts of different circuits for different uses. What's cool about the technology now is that all the electronics that we are using on a day-to-day -day basis, like cell phones and laptops and, and cable TVs and, and wearables and, and iWatches, all that stuff uses sensors. And because everyone has these devices, the cost of the sensors have dropped from being something that NASA would like custom machine and have for like a satellite that was like 50 or $60 each to now they're pennies. So you can actually make electronics that can be embedded in clothing, and it isn't like, okay, this is a $500 project, now it's a $10 project. And that capability has made it so much more accessible because historically it's been like, okay, you had to have like $2,000 to really get into electronics, and now you can really get started with a kit for like 50 bucks. That makes a really big difference, especially for young people or people who don't have the means and, and cash to afford the expensive tools that you would need you know, a couple decades ago. I just say we are a tutorial company with a gift shop. So people go to our tutorial site and they look at the projects and they get so inspired. They're like, I want to make an LED menorah or I want to make a puppet that when you open the mouth, it actually speaks words. And then they're like, okay, well, I have to learn skills in order to build this project that I want to build. And so that's how we get people really interested because we're trying to reach people who are not just engineers right now, who may not even know that they would like to do engineering. People who have, are not part of um, that group, but we would like to bring them in and show them how much fun it is to do electronics. We have a Google Hangout every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. and people from around the world show up and show off their projects. And we've hired three people from show and tell, people who've shown off really awesome projects. And we're like, whoa, you built like a super cool MIDI guitar that's 3D printed and like plays show tunes. That's so awesome. Would you like to come to Adafruit and do that? Because we can see that they care deeply about what they're doing. They're creative. They have these skills. They love what we do and they clearly believe in our mission. So we bring them into the fold.